yeah, we're gonna break this thing down right now. We're gonna do it like what? Come on, y'all. Y'all know how I do it. Hell yeah. Don't hide, don't, don't hide. I got my worms out. It's just the birds out. In other words, now, put it in your mouth. Yeah. How nice, how nice. I got you on the line like every other about time. I mount you on the wall inside my double wide. Double wide. Listen up, listen up. That's enough from you. I put your hands up. I had enough. So put the money in the truck. Check it out. Now let me get my flow on. Let me take a minute of y'all's fair time. I was small mouth fishing on the 4th of July. Uh. All you ever wanted was to be loved. Okay. Put her with the pups. Why do we put her with the pups? Ain't you ever heard about this? No. You know, the mama wolf and the other wolves, they'll come along and sniff her a little bit, and then they'll raise her. What if they eat her instead? They ain't gonna eat her. Now put her in with them. You want hot sauce on your chitlins? <laughs> you might want to see this. There were Little the Miss pageants. The 1989 Eskill Springs Little Miss pageant is... Allie Dawson! Ready? Okay! Warriors got In the beat. eighth grade, Warriors you were briefly a cheerleader. Warriors got the beat to the bacon. What? What? Move something. Warriors got the beat! Warriors got the beat! Warriors got the beat! Got but it seemed as though the very universe please, please, was please against you. Please, make me famous. Oh, hell no. You met a man. And for a little while, Life was good. For a moment, love was all that mattered. You both found rewarding careers. As a couple, you had dreams. Smell your pheromones.
honeymoon was over. I need you to fix my faucet. I don't think. I'm in the mood to do anything for you. Now this is one of the prettiest lakes we've been. You do have better luck. I don't know what to Hey! Hey, now turn that off! Well, I have to make my cookies for Delilah's birthday party. Turn that off! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. over my knee, girl! I'll make you a John Wayne Bobbitt. Tudor tried to leave. Hey! Where the hell do you think you're going? Anywhere from here. Oh, yeah? And what makes you think I'm just gonna let you up and leave me, Tudor? You touch my butt? Don't you get in that car! You touch my butt, I'll kill you. Tudor Pitts! Tudor, get out of the car! tried to leave. Alrighty then, what else can I do today to make my lovely sparkle happy? But you couldn't stand being with a man who was not. Sparkle, honey! W what did I do? Did I take too long with the sink? Sparkle, honey! We can work this out. We just need to communicate. And then tragedy struck, and you lost your livelihood. Sweet fire! Ain't so sweet now, huh? I'll kill you, you sorry son of a bitch! You wanna come behind the... You were a woman who could no longer be distracted. And why are you making a paper mache of a masturbating Morris? It's Leroy Johnson, stupid, and he's only the best bass fisherman to ever come out of Estill Springs. Well, I'd like to hear the news. We're live on the scene here at Heritage Bank and Trust on Campbell Boulevard, where a local Columbia man has just been arrested for robbing the bank. The man, identified as Junior Stubblefield, said he needed the money for a new bass boat. You see there? Junior dropped out same time you did. Oh look, here he is on the 6 o'clock news. You got a point? God, he's, this boy's famous, Tudor, and you're sitting around here scratching your nuts making paper mache bass fishermen. I told you not to make fun of my Leroy, and you know what? I ain't robbing no damn bank. I mean, A, they got them dive bombs, they put them right in the money. And two? They got them silent alarms, go straight to the police station, and D, with my luck, I'll get shot in the back going out the back door by one of them security guards. Well, when did you become such an all-fire wuss? You call me whatever you want, but I ain't robbing no damn bank. Well, okay, so we'll rob a convenience store then. Go rob it yourself! Now, I, hey! I want to be famous! Don't you be throwing shit at my sculpture! You know, I don't give a damn about your sculpture! Well, you better start caring! You better start deciding you're gonna help me rob a convenience store, Buster! Because until you do, 
this here apple pie is off limits. El Nega! Thank you. Sure thing, man. Is this about the car wash? Taylor, baby. We need your money. I'm sorry. We don't give no refunds. Now, I can give you a free token, but I can't promise you anything about the paint job. Give me all your money! Don't yell at me! You fuck up my bell tone! Oh, come on, Tudor. Reach back there and get that damn money from behind the register. You better back off, Tudor. Now, don't be using my name now. I'll use your name any damn time I want. And I sure as hell am not going to give you no damn money. Okay, now look. Listen here, you old hag. This here's a robbery, okay? So what I need you to do is reach back there and grab all your money from behind the register and give it to my man here before I have to give you some 38 caliber body piercing. Go ahead and shoot then. I got chemo tomorrow. I got nothing to live for anyway. Oh, give me. You damn punk, I'll bite off your ears and make you scream Tyson. Oh, oh Tim, they do have a camera. Oh, baby. You hear that? <gasps> That's a ride! They're coming to get us! Oh shit, Poe. Now, come on, wake up. Wake up. Daddy needs a hostage. Come on. Wake up. Oh, man. They didn't they didn't arrest us. I mean. They, they didn't even slow down. Well, that's just plum awful now, ain't it? Well, Tudor, how are we gonna be famous if nobody will arrest us? You ever see Bonnie and Clyde? You ain't gotta get arrested to be famous. <sighs> well, at least we're still on camera. Hey, it's me, Sparkle again. This is Tudor over here. Tudor, wait for the camera. Why don't you just go get my dress? Now, baby, that's an idea. You think I should? Hey, Tudor, it's me, Sparkle. Sparkle, to Oh, later. Oh, come on, hon. You know I was only kidding. They had our dress to take all the fun out of it. You go ahead and give it to them, y'all two. I sure ain't gonna be here. Oh, we'll see me. We're gonna go hot out now, right? Just like Bonnie and Clyde. What'll I do to deserve you? Come on, let's go back to the motel and I give you a towing. It says here that the 18th Street Mini Mart was robbed last night. Well, they ain't even got our pictures in here, Tudor. Are you gonna let me finish? The cashier, Velma Rocher, received a slight knock to the head, but is recovering at home and is expected to return to work by the end of the week. Sheriff Ray Porter says there are no suspects what? at this time. No suspects? I posed twice for that stupid camera.
Now, hey! Hey, yourself! When are we gonna be famous? Now you don't leave my Leroy alone, and you're gonna be dead. Now, girl, now I told you they might not write us up, and they didn't. So you might as well just face fact that you and I ain't meant to be famous. way of saying that we ain't supposed to be robbing people. I mean, Sparkle, don't you think it's time that you and I just made ourselves an honest living? Doing what? Well, ain't there anything else you ever wanted to do besides rob people? Well, I used to want to be a calendar girl for the co-op. Ain't there anything else? Well, for like a week in the seventh grade, I want to be a beautician. Well, a beautician. Well, see, a beautician, that's a career. I mean, you could go to work. At the end of the week, you got yourself a paycheck, cash hard-earned money, but you got to buy yourself things with. And you, you ain't gotta have all them fat truckers slobbered all over you. You think I could do it? Sparkle, I know you can. What you gonna do, baby? Well, I reckon I just go work for my daddy. Your dad, baby, your daddy's crazy. I mean, that man ain't right. Sparkle, you just gotta trust me. I mean, we can work this out. We keep all the cones in that blue shit. It's it's supposed to kill all the lights. You was late from lunch yesterday, wasn't you? This is twice in two days. Mr. Pitts, I swear it was an accident. I just got caught in traffic on the way back from the barbecue place. Go on now. Take off. Mr. Pitts, please give me another chance. I swear it won't happen again. Now, what was it you wanted, son? Baby, why we gotta be like everybody else? I mean, if I have to work for 40 years, what, I think I'll just die. Honey, I know what you mean. Don't worry, honey, you keep sweeping up real good. Maybe next week they'll let you shampoo. Hey, Sparkle! There is a whole bunch of hair underneath this sink! I think somebody peed in it! Well, folks, looks like we caught another whale. You know what it is? These little ones ain't been around long enough to be I want you to help me rob people. I done had all the hair care I could stomach, okay? And I'm ready to be fed, so. You gonna help me or not? Not? Tudor, I didn't have to sweep up two whole trash bags of other people's hair today, and some of them with pubes. I ain't dumb. Do you know that old woman when she bit me, she broke the skin, and I done put one bit on it three times today, and I think it's infected. Ain't you got no drive? I mean, don't you want to do nothing with your life? Nope. <sighs> okay. Now look at your seat. I stole a copy of Bonnie and Clyde from Jimmy's video today. No. My house is on. Hey! I want 
don't you tell me you're going to help me be famous. Now, I ain't going to rob people. You don't give me back that remote, there's going to be trouble. Oh, yeah? Well, if you don't help me, I'm going to tell your daddy about your tail feathers. He already knows. You broke the remote. Now, are you going to help me? Or are you spending the rest of your life on this damn couch? I think I'll take the couch. I'll just do it by myself. I'll just rob people and be famous without no help from nobody. And to think, all this time I thought you really loved me. And I really loved you, Tudor Pitts. Well, when a man loves a woman, sometimes he has to make some sacrifices. Right, well, come on, we got robbery to do. Let's go. Let's get well, started. Well, hold your horses, not just yet. I want to tow you. So you say you was the cashier on duty when the store was robbed? That's right. Are you sure? Now, how would I not be sure it was me? Well, you know, sometimes people ain't real happy with their lives and they like to imagine something a little more glamorous. They took me to the hospital. I waited four damned hours in the damned emergency room. Four damned hours. Hmm. They give you any hallucinatory drugs while you was there. You got any reason you're not questioning me about the robbery? Lady, I'd just like to make sure there was actually a crime committed before I go to the trouble to launch an investigation. Sometimes all that investigating makes me depressed. And honey, I don't sleep so good. Okay? Four damn hours. Hmm. Is it working? No. Piece of crap. We'll probably get robbed. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, well, hey, Pete. Long time no see. How you been? I've been 
doing good. You know, I almost didn't recognize you with that there, uh, with that bag on your face. <laughs> well, we're just costume people, I guess. Going to one of them costume parties, are you? Oh, well, no, not that I know of. Say, when y'all gonna get by the house? My wife's been after me to get y'all come by and have some deer steaks and poke salad. Well, you know what? How about, uh... Well, how about Saturday night? You want to do that Saturday? Does that work for you, Pete? Saturday works good for me. Well, all right, that's what we'll do. We got to get in here and rob a bank, Pete, but we'll see you Saturday. Y'all have a good one. We'll right, see y'all. All right, you tell the missus we said hey. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you. Bye. Bye. Right, we'll see y'all. What are you doing? He can identify us now. Are you that stupid? We can't be famous if nobody knows who we are, Tudor. Now, come on. I'm not the one who shot out the ceiling. Tudor, punch a freaking gun at these people! <laughs> I bet that hurts, don't it? <sighs> All right. Everybody who don't want a new air conditioning system for your torso better get on this floor now. On your stomach, denture man! <sighs> All right, coin jockey. Fill the bag. And ain't nobody gonna get hurt. You on deposit slip? Do you want to meet St. Peter before the night Dukes of Hazard rerun? Now fill this bag before I have to get ugly. Too late for that. Shut up. All right. Now all of y'all are gonna remember today, because today is the day you was robbed by the plastic bandits. That is the most stupidest thing I have ever heard in my entire life. Ain't nobody asked you! Hey, and no dive bombs in that money, neither. Oh, come on! You freaking cabbage head! Wash it off! My shirt? My shirt is ruined. My grandmother got me this shirt for Mule Day. Oh, forget it. Let's go. You're gonna have blood on that shirt if you don't do what I told you to. Now wash my money! With what? I don't care. Spit on it! Oh, I'm leaving. Oh, Tudor Pitch, you stop right there! You were not leaving without me, Tudor. This here's my robbery, and you're gonna help me finish it! I'm stressed and I need some fish. No, we have to go to the safe house. We'll go later. Tudor, you can't just go just any old time. You gotta go right after the robbery while the cops are hot on your trail. You see any cops around here? You sure you don't want to fish? Leroy Johnson's gonna be fishing this lake in two weeks. Well, it's the Southern Regional Bass Association Tournament. I just, I thought you might want to fish it with me. I'd sooner have my eyes not out by the rat. Well, your choice. So, uh, you say you were the teller that was robbed? Yes, sir. Are you willing to submit to a polygraph test to confirm that, son? Huh? Oh, well, the 
the stupid earthquakes halfway around the world, and they got half the paper covered up with it. I'll take it way in there. Hold on, I ain't even checked the sports yet. Well, so they ain't rise up this time. I'll get us next time. You never care nothing for my dreams, anyway. You're right about that. You know what? And then she made the truth so clear. You can just give me another tell before I even think about doing any more robberies. Oh, that's two toys. Oh, shut it. No, you better be nice to me. Or you're going to owe me about a million toys before I, before I even think about doing any robberies. You. <laughs> I told you you're a prevert. It's pervert, stupid. And yes, they have. Many, many times. Sheriff, we got a 1020 in progress down at the co-op. Hello, Deputy Snot. Sheriff, don't take this the wrong way, but I really appreciate it if you could get my name right. It's Knott's. Well, Snot is funnier. You shot my chicken feet. You what? You better get on this damn floor before I have to pump you full of lead. Shut your mouth, Tudor. On the floor. All right. And six bags super protein catfish chow. And a Sweeney model 418 super auto fish feed. That's it in the other room. And we'll go with you. Hey, hey, where, where's your surveillance cameras? Don't have none. Oh, oh see, Tudor, I told you they wouldn't have one. Well, you win some, you lose some. So we gotta at least try to catch the criminals? Snot, snot, snot. When are you gonna stop trying to compensate for the vast meaninglessness of your pathetic existence with these futile gestures of machismo? I think it's just been a long time since we've arrested anybody. I think we owe it to the people who elected you to perform this duty you were entrusted to perform. You know, Snotty, you are just a huge pain in my huge ass. Okay. You know, I ain't never cheated in a tournament before. This is kind of milestone for me. I thought you could at least show me a little support and be happy for me. I think... You can be happy for me. Ooh, why can't we just be like normal criminals? I 
hate you, big lug. I made a list of things that Bonnie and Clive is doing that we ain't been doing. Now see, first of all, they was robbing banks, and they got their relatives together and formed a gang, and they had a sidekick. And they sure as hell didn't go run off to the lake fishing every time they did a damn robbery, neither. Your move, Chop Suey. Don't call me that. B-29. You saw my battleship. Ha! Huh. Play it again. Fork over that sushi money, Wong man. You cheated. Quit your morning to pay up. Come on. Button down, Byron. Mom, are you even listening to me? Dumpin', I'm doing my best not to, but you're hard to ignore. I already done told her my conditions. Oh, God. Don't even start with that toey stuff. Because I am done. I'm finished. No toey, no robbery. Is there a queue? Do we have a queue? I'm sorry, there is no queue. It's back to you, Gar. Is there a bee? Do we have a bee? You want them to be in our gang? You got any better ideas? I got lots of better ideas. Cousin Gil! Hey, cuz! Oh, now Gil? God. You're just in time. We're practicing for Eunice's big break. As soon as she gets smoky out of the oven, we're heading out to Hollywood. She's gonna apprentice herself to Miss White. Gil, it ain't working again. Damn football scoreboard. Gar, go hold the wires. I don't want to. Son, this is a family project. If your daddy tells you to go hold the wires, you go hold the wires. But I don't want to get shocked like Frogger. You go hold them wires, or I'll cancel your cinemax. You gotta raise them with structure, or they'll just go crazy. Gilgar's down! Damn Scudder. I bought him an internet course in electronics and look what he does. So, uh, how do y'all feel about robbing banks? You mean ethically or morally? Well, me, we're getting ready to start our new life of crime and we just thought you and Eunice here might want to be our psychic. Hey, you reckon we ought to call an ambulance? You alive? Killer? Well, maybe we should do CPR. Is he breathing? Oh, I don't think so. I reckon we better do it then. Well, go ahead. I don't know nothing about that stuff. Here, maybe I ought to drag him out. Tudor, help him. Hey, Tudor, grab a leg. Come on, boy. And wires got the best of you, huh, boy? So y'all think you'd be interested? In what? 
and being our sidekicks, Robin Banks. Oh, I reckon we better pass this time. We still got a lot of polishing to do on Miss Eunice's here technique. I reckon old Gar here's got to learn some more about electronics. I'm boy. He just won't do it. Had her in there for three days now. He ain't so much as sniffed her jiggy box. What are you trying to breed him? She's been in heat since my buddy brought her out here on Tuesday. I done tried visual aids and everything. He just ain't interested. Oh, sometimes them dogs go the other way. Best thing coon dog ever had. Took my mama's hairdresser quail hunting with us once. I reckon that's what did it. Well anyways, we was wondering if you might want to rob banks with us and you know like being our gang. You think you might want to do that? I ain't leaving. He does it. Well, it appears this whole gang thing ain't working out. It appears to me ain't nobody asked you for your two cents. You know, anybody ever tell you your whole family ain't nothing but a bunch of nut jobs? <sighs> anybody ever tell you you got diarrhea of the mouth? <sighs> well, that right there is gonna cost you another toey. Oh, shove your damn toey. And my family ain't a bunch of nut jobs neither. I'll go first. Halt! Oh, who goes there? It's me, Cousin Sparkle. Approach. What's the password? Where? Now what the hell's wrong with you? Open the dang door. What's the password? I don't know the dang password. No, 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 thanks. Tutor? No, man, I'm allergic. All right, here. So what we was wondering is, maybe if y'all would want to join up with us and be our gang, you know, and help us rob people. Define rob. Well, you know, like banks and convenience stores and places with money. So, you want to do it? I gotta admit, it does sound like a lot of fun, but, but I can't. Oh, come on, why not? I'm low profile. Ever since you shot that DEA fella, they've been bearing down on me right smart. 
See, you can help make us famous. Come on, cuz. Oh, God, it's gonna be bunches of fun, please. No, you up for robbing a few banks. I don't care. I'd have to ride the shotgun. You can ride wherever you want. Can't stand riding in the back seat when I'm perpetrating. Yeah, cuz you can drive, you can ride, I don't care what you do. What's the split? Um, a split? On the money, what's the split? Oh. 60-40. Y'all 40, us 60. Oh, come on! We never got started. We're Bonnie and Clyde here. Y'all are the relatives. But I'm wanted. <laughs> All right. 60-40. You mean 40-60? 40-60, whatever. Go get us a napping. Write us up a contract. All right, so, y'all got anybody in mind that might want to be our sidekick? Well, my nephew's unemployment doesn't run out. Might be interested. I got the napping. Oh, God. Dang, we got us a gang tutor. Babies. Broccoli, old size kit. Dirt, blood, audit, family channel. Wait, do you absolutely have to do that? I'm loosening it up. La 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 la, may, 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 pocket full of fat so. You're off pitch, hon. Do re me, pocket full of fat so. Oh, you didn't get shot at. Uh, I was just wondering if, like, Policemen are gonna shoot at us? I ain't scared. You look out. You can't be scared. Let's go. in this, smart boy. Hey, and you tell no die bombs, cuz. And no die bombs, neither. You die our money, you die. All right, we got some new faces with us, in case you couldn't tell. We got... What in the name of blue Jesus are you doing? Well, I'm trying to be famous here. Well, don't say my name. Well, you can say mine if you want. You stupid woman. If they know your name, they'll connect me to you. Don't call me stupid. Oh, yeah? Why not? Because I got a gun in my hand. Your, your money's ready. Count to 200! Twice! Feel better yet? No. But I have to take the tape to the sheriff.
the truck. Put your hands where I can see them. Well, hey, hey, oh. Hands in the air. Oh, yeah, sorry. Everybody out now. Come on. Horace Webb, get out of the car. I didn't know his first name was Horace. Come on, on the ground, all of you. I hope you're happy we're going to jail. Oh, I'm gonna get you for this woman. I'm gonna get you for this. Aww. Wow, wow, wow. Why don't you suck up and be a man, Tudor? This is so exciting. Horse Web, you've got five seconds before I open fire. All right, all right. Don't get your panties in a wad. Come on, face down on the ground. All right, all right, I'm going. All right, all right. Oh, oh good. man. Be still. You don't have to be so tight. Same fellow rested me. Give me his hands. Shut up. Oh, come on now. No, oh. to your feet. Come on. All right. Move it, move it. Come on. Up against the trunk. Oh. Now Dang, you're unfriendly. Oh, Be still. Dang it. Hey, Don't go. fight. Because you tell them we're family. We blubber later. I, I go if you go. I ain't saying a word. Hey, shut it up, okay? Oh, come on. Come on, to your feet. I want to go too. All right, turn around. Hey, hey Dallas, come over with y'all. I don't want to sit in the back of him. Oh, come on. Hey, all right, young guy? Nobody's up there. Yeah. Wow. All right. That was hurt. Ah. Hey. 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 Are you crazy? We're with him. We just robbed a bank. You mean tell me we can rob a bank in this town and just get away with it? Hey, we got guns in here. Real ones. Tudor Pitts, I want you to take us to that sheriff so we can surrender. I'm going to the lake. Oh, come on, this ain't fair, and you know it. Bonnie and Clyde never had Clyde's brother get arrested instead of them. That's just stupid. Well, wife's a bitch. If you really cared about me, you'd take us to that sheriff. Well, then I guess. I guess by that definition, I don't care. I'll give you a towie. Not if you gave me two. You know, sometimes I don't even think you're committed to this relationship. You got that right. Tudor, all I ask is that you take me down to the police station and surrender. You can't even do one thing for once in your life that would make me happy. Oh, were you even listening to me? Name? Chigger Butts. You have a sad face, Chigger Butts. You remove egg roll. If we were in Hong Kong, I could have you killed. If a frog had wings, wouldn't bump ass on the ground all the time to move your damn piece. I'm trying to concentrate. Three. Boy, you just saw it. Uh, <clears throat> got something in your throat, hon? The main branch of Heritage Bank was robbed yesterday afternoon at approximately 1.33 Central Standard Time. Authorities have taken into custody Horace and Marla Webb in conjunction with the incident. The Webbs are known fugitives wanted previously for the killing of a drug enforcement agency agent. They were denied bail and will face a grand jury later this month. Witnesses said that the Webbs had a man and a woman with them, but the, it is not known whether they were accomplices or hostages, and no one has been able to identify them. I'll stitch you. That's funny. <laughs> I reckon y'all couldn't get a headline if captured a UFO. It's not funny! The hell it ain't, it's hilarious. Well, okay now. We'll just have to try again. Tudor, you got any ideas on who can replace Cousin Webb and Darla? Only I believe my bank robbing days reached their natural conclusion.
Missy and Bubba twist their way to fame with unusual murders in this taught Pisa, pis, pis, Pisaka in this taught thriller. Got any of them grape cherry motor roll salt worms? Got two bags of them. I might need to borrow one from you here in a minute. All right. Hey, baby! Are you catching anything? What are you doing here, woman? Okay, look. I found the key to our fame. We're gonna be copycat killers! Now all we gotta do is copy the murders in this here novel and we'll be bigger than Millie Vanilli, baby! Are you studying on killing people, Tudor? Why don't you just go on home and take your medication? Oh, come on now, Tudor. You know I ain't got no medication. Are you gonna help me kill people and be famous or not? Why not just go on up there and give you a spanking? Well, why don't you just jump whenever you feel froggy, Kermit? Oh, come on, Tudor. It's got some real neat murders in here, like this first one. This first one's got me down with a tarantula, baby. Well, I reckon we're gonna to try to win this tournament. I hate it when my viewers tune in to see me lose. How many viewers do you think watch your show each week, Leroy? Well, the last I heard, it was about a half a million. That's a lot of viewers. I hope we like to keep them entertained. You know, people tune us in. We like to give them something to watch. Take a sip. See? No poison. Now, you just wait right here. I got a surprise for you. It's the wrong action. I use a medium heavy with a stiff tip. That's because it ain't for you. It's mine! I want you to teach me how to fish so I can fish a tournament with you and Leroy. Boy, this place done filled up with skunks. Now, I done asked you to fish me once, and you said you'd rather have your eyes gnawed out by a rat. Well, that was then, and this is now. I don't want the rat no more. I want fish to make you happy. Now, I already got me another partner, and I can't be asking Phelps to miss the tournament. Oh, well, that's okay, baby. I got my own partner. The guy at Bubba said he'd fish with me. So all you gotta do is teach me how to fish, and we can be in the tournament together. Come on, hog bass. Come on, baby. Come on to old Leroy. Come on to old Leroy. Come on to old Leroy. Uh -huh. 
Throw it near that stump over there. Up. Up. In the water. Well, that's where I was aiming, smart ass. Now, careful now. Watch the lure. Oh, come on. Now, spark weaver. What the hell, what the hell are you doing? Our fishermen are lined up and ready to go, and we're about to begin the 37th Annual Southern Regional Bass World Championship, where some of the sport's top pros will compete alongside a pre-selected number of local bass wizards. Uh, donut. We are also very pleased to have no. with us today our okay. very own Leroy Johnson, worldwide television personality. Everybody give Leroy a big hand. Tell you what, Snotty, if I get skin cancer, I'm gonna cut you up in little pieces and bury you under my porch. I just know something's gonna go down. You and your damn conscience, boy. How'd you get into fishing anyway? You know, most attractive women ain't much on bass fishing. <laughs> oh, well, I reckon I'm just different. Well, I sure am tickled to be fishing with you. If at any point you wanna Pull way back up here in one of these coves and get naked. <laughs> you just let me know. What is she looking at? I know it ain't me. Yeah. Always have a right smart difficulty settling on a bait at the start. Guess it goes back to the fall classic in 93 when I caught one fish on a crankbait. One on a willow leaf spinner, one on a worm, and one on a topwater. I just ain't got the same confidence. Engine! This sure was a good idea to come way back up in this creek like this. I can't tell you how much it means to me. Well, ever since I first saw you, I've been sort of, well, you know, fantasizing about it. <laughs> Take off your clothes. Oh, I get it. You're one of them kinky types. You gonna tie me up and punish me? I said take off your clothes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, God, don't you dare move until I tell you to. <laughs> presentation. Has been cool the last couple of days. I got some clear glitter four inch crawdads I can throw at them. What are you doing? Well, I'm gonna head on down the lake. Got here. Well, I'm heading on down the lake. Well, we just got here. I done had two strikes and a follow.
Now switch to a a spinnerbait with a rattle in its head. You got to be real careful when you use a lure like this, cause sometimes it'll just turn them right off. However, I think today it may be just the trick for old Hog Mama Bass. Leroy, yeah, hey, it's me, Sparkle Weaver over here. Hey, just wonder if you'd mind sharing your spot. Yeah, folks, sometimes in a tournament like this, you just gotta share your spot. What's that woman doing with scuba gear in the middle of a tournament? Oh, would you just give it a rest? There ain't no such thing as crime, and if there was, we ain't gonna be the ones to solve it anyway. Oh, man. Now, the lip on this particular crankbait makes it run 12 to 14 feet deep. That's about three or four feet deeper than most crankbaits will go on just a cast. back and forth to Leroy's boat? Maybe she thinks she's a fish. Something's going on.
guys. Woo! At 5.28 pounds, winner of our tournament and big large mouth of the tournament, Leroy Johnson. <laughs> I hope you know we're gonna spend the rest of our lives in jail. You just don't understand nothing, do you? My dream is coming true right before your eyes, Tudor, and all you can think about is a little jail. We're stupid, just don't do you justice. Well, well, well. Listen, Leroy. I had nothing to do with this. I was trying to stop her. So, Leroy, you gonna come to the trial? You can bring all those little camera people over there and we can just make a show of it. You know, whoa. I reckon I owe y'all a thank you. That last fish I caught is the biggest fish I ever caught in a tournament, and that's the first tournament I've won in 10 years. And, uh, I reckon that spider of y'all's is good luck. Of course, now, I can't be having somebody trying to kill me while I'm fishing. Now, I'm going to have a word with Tudor here. that today I got a brand new face in the boat with me. Tudor Pitts is going to be monitoring my pH meter and he's going to be taking care of my good luck tarantula for me. Say hello to folks, Tudor. We're going to see if we can't scare up a couple of these big old moss back. Come on, baby. Jump on Papa's hook. Oh, Tudor, that's my magic worm, too. We ought to be doing better than this. There we go. Now we're going to get one of those big old jobbers. Did you see that one jump? Folks, there's some big ones out here. I think maybe they're hiding under logs. I'm just not sure yet. What do you think? Why don't you put that spider in the water for a couple of seconds? Got him in the water, Tudor? Tudor Pitts! You better let me in that boat! Woman, I told you not to come around when I was by Leroy! Don't you let that crazy woman in my boat! You get this out of here! Wait a minute, you do it, woman! It's the bird's eye. In other words, now, put it in your mouth. <laughs> How nice. How nice. I got you on the line. Like every other bout time. I mount you on the wall inside. I got my double white. I got my double white. Give us a whistle. Listen up, listen up. That's enough from you. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put the money in the truck. Yeah, I got my double white in my four by four. Give us a whiskey. Yeah, baby. Give us a whiskey. 
Give us a whiskey. Yeah, baby.